Taro, wait! Why? So you can hit me again? You didn't come to bed all night, and now you won't even talk to me. Please don't leave like this. What do you expect me to do? Walk to work with them with a smile on my face? Look at me. How am I supposed to explain this to people, eh? Say it was an accident. Like I did last time. Only it wasn't an accident, was it? You grabbed me and shoved my face into the door. Nothing accidental about that. I don't know how many times I've got to say I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you, I swear. But I was angry at you for inviting my parents without telling me. I thought I was doing the right thing. I know that now. But... I don't know, something just came over me. Maybe it was the hormones. Don't blame this on our baby. This was your fault, no one else's. And so you can admit that. I don't even want to look at you. What are you up to? Oh, Adi spilled some uh, cereal down his uh, shirt, so I thought I saw him out a, a clean one. You should have woken me up. I could have done that. Well, you look like you could do with a rest, babe. Let's face it, you've been putting enough hours in the pub lately, right? Oh, so you're saying I can't look after my children now, is that it? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you're looking tired, you know, a little tense. Right? And I think that you're overdoing things a bit, that's all. Well, maybe you're right. I do with a day off from that place. Yeah. So listen, why don't you call Stella and tell her that you're sick or something, you've got like a headache or something, and think about yourself for a change. OK. Yeah. OK, I'll do it. Morning, gorgeous. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Another five minutes and you'll have me on the right side of presentable. Oh, you look all right to me. Oh, steady on. You'll have me all of a flutter. <laughs> Been nice, isn't it? Oh, spending a bit more time together. You mean without screaming and shouting at each other? <laughs> yeah, that and all. It's made me realise how lucky I am. Why'd you say that? Because after all the mistakes I made, everything I put you through, you never gave up on me when any other woman would have kicked me into touch. If you'd been any other man, I would have. It's like we're stuck with each other. Looks like we are. Right, there we go. Let's have a look at you. Come here. Yeah, good. You'll do. But I reckon you need a haircut, though, pal. I don't want to have it cut. I want to grow it. Yeah? Why? I want dreadlocks. Yeah, OK. Well, uh, leave that with me. Let me have a think about it, OK? But look, uh, before we go, there's something I need to tell you. Have a sit down. There's, uh, there's somebody from the family courts. They're called a Kafkas officer. They want to come and see you after football practice at school today to talk about what's been happening between me and Leanne. Why do they want to talk to me? Uh, it's nothing to worry about. And I'll be stood right outside the door, I'll be waiting for you. They just want to check that you're happy living here, you know, and this is where you want to stay. With me. If I tell them that, does it mean I can't see Leanne? Oh, don't worry about that. That's for me and Leanne to sort out, yeah? OK? Yeah. Good boy. Right, make your football kit, we'll go to school. Have you told him what's happening today? Yeah. How'd he take it? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he understands what's happening. Listen, I've been thinking it. Why don't we do something this evening, the three of us, you know, to take a mind off what's going on? Cinema or something? Come. Got one of my meetings. Oh. I thought you'd already up on this week. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes one's not enough. Right, grab your bag. Good lad. Bye. See you. Right, love. I'm off. Have a good one. Somehow I doubt it. What's up with you? You're full of the joys early, eh? Well, I'm supposed to be having a meeting with the brewery later. Antonita's phoned in sick. I've no one to cover. Did she say what was wrong? No, I know that she wasn't feeling up to coming in today. Didn't sound that sick to me. Well, if you want, I could uh, give streetcars a swerve and help you out. Nice thought, love, but we need the money. You get off, I'll be fine. Right. I've changed your mind. Yep, I know where to find you. Keep the change. Oh, no, Emily, that's too much. The amount of tea I get through sitting chatting to you. 
I probably owe you twice that. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Good afternoon, Emily. You're looking very glam today. Well, I'm going into town to have lunch with someone. Ah, huh? would this someone be a man by any chance? Yes, but we're just friends. Ah, well, that's how it starts. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Bye, Emily. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sure. Bye. Can you stop harassing my customers, please? Why aren't you at work, anyway? I'm on my lunch break, and I wanted to talk to you about something. Mm, why does that make me nervous? Well... There's this new bloke who's just started oh, at work. No and way. Maria, he way. would be perfect for you. He's cute, he's funny, and he'd look great on your arm. What is he, a glove puppet? <laughs> no, he's a nurse. Now, I'm having a drink with him in the Rovers later on. If you just happen to be oh. there at the same time, I could introduce you to him. I don't know. Uh, what have you got to lose? What's left in my self-respect? <sighs> you lost that years ago. One drink. Come on. Uh-huh. Yep. Your table will be ready at two. See you then. Bye. Hey. Hi. Everything all right? I wasn't expecting you till later. Yeah, I was going to take some time off. You know. What would I do? Watch telly? Go shopping? Well, if you're at a loose end because what happened with you and Eva, then... Who said it was anything to do with her? Look, all I'm saying is, if it is, it's never too late to patch things up. I mean, if, if Audrey and I can do it, why can't you? The yeah, difference is my granddad's into a neurotic bunny-boiling head case. Well, if you put it like that. Between you and me... I'm going to give relationships a miss. Be a lot less complicated. Yeah, a lot more boring. <laughs> Morning, gentlemen. Oh, Lewis, it's a nice tie. It goes with your eyes. Thank you, my dear. What? Nothing. Well, then, wait, mate. I have to take Jack to the doctor's. All right. Is he all right? Yeah, a bit of a temperature. Nothing to worry about. Really good party last night, was it? Oh, yeah, this, uh, I was bladdered and when everyone left, got hungry, opened the cupboard door and boom. It's not to make that a bit of a habit. Maybe you should cut down on the ale. Well, next time, get a takeaway. Yeah, yeah, I'll remember that. <laughs> Thought you were ill. I was. Well, you look all right to me. I have very strong recuperative powers. I know why you didn't come to work today and it's not because you're sick. And you worked that out all by yourself, did you? I'm sorry about last night. I didn't know what else to do. I love Stella, and she deserves better than this. And what about me? What do I deserve? Being chucked aside like a bag of old rubbish? You know I don't mean it like that. Well, that's how you made me feel. I care about you, and I really like being with you, but caught in the middle here. Oh. Ready when you are. Sorry? Uh, I've just booked a taxi with Steve, and he said you'd take me into town. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course we'll, love. Hop in. Thank you. I've got to go. We need to sort this out. Yeah, I don't know. Meet me at the flat at three. Dev's at the cash and carry all afternoon and the kids are at friends. Plenty of time to talk. Just talk? Yeah. All right. We'll see what I can do. Emily, it's this one, love. Who's she talking to? A new um, wine supplier. Sure. She's been on the phone to him for about half an hour. Maybe she's trying for a discount. <laughs> yeah, and the rest. Well, yeah. You're not jealous, are you? <laughs> of course I'm not jealous. So what's your problem, then? I just wonder what I pay her for. Well, you must admit she does add a touch of glamour around the place. Look, I can't stand around here chatting to you all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll deal with this. Well, you finished with relationships. Have you said anything about a relationship? Hi, uh, I'm Nick, the owner. Have you got a reservation? No. Do I need one? Oh, I'm sure we'll squeeze you in. Uh, I'll get you a menu. Eva, can I get a menu, please? I've not seen you around here before. I've just moved to the area. Oh, uh, I'm a local lad myself. Really? Yeah, uh, where have you moved from? Tokyo. Yeah, for a year, before that Barcelona. I travel a lot. Yeah, I've done a lot of travelling, you know, uh, new experiences, new horizons. I thought you said you were from around here. I am technically, but I used to live in Canada. Right. So, uh, I mean, if you want someone to show you around the sites, I'd be happy to offer my services. Thanks. I don't think my boyfriend would like that. Here you go, love. Oh, before I forget, your mum's just found. She wants to know if you're going home for your tea. <laughs> 
Thanks for that. That's all right. Ah, oh, that's finished. Right. I'll uh, phone the customer. Let him know we can collect it tomorrow. Look, why don't you get a phone? There's not much to do here now, is there? Go and spend some time with that missus of yours. Yeah. Might just do that. Uh, and watch out for those cupboard doors. Where have you? Oh, I had enough from you in the courtroom. Anyway, I can't stop on meeting science school. Why have you left it so late? Because Leon is staying behind late, that's why. Why? Is he in trouble again? No, he's not in trouble. He's talking to a Kafkas officer about who he wants to live with now, if you don't mind. What's going on? I've got a friend in the spare room. I'm going to stay with her for a while. What? Moving out. No, you're not. It's my decision. Well, that's our baby, not yours. I know, but it's for the best. Give it back. No. Give it back. No. See? How can we be together if you're scared of me? I'm not scared. Yes, you are, I know. I've seen that look before. Where? What are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. I didn't think you were coming. Well, it wasn't easy to get here. And that is another reason why this has got to stop. It's too dangerous. Oh, so that's it then, from while it lasted. And now it's time to go back to our mundane lives with our boring partners. Look, whatever happens between you and Dev is your business, but don't talk about Stella like that. She's not boring, she's a good person, we're happy together. Then why were you sleeping with me? It should never have happened. It was a mistake. I don't believe that, and I don't think you do either. You're trying to mess with my head, aren't you? No. I'm just trying to understand what's wrong with two people needing each other. Wanting to be with each other. Not just about you and me. Don't you think I don't know that? I haven't thought what would happen if Dev or Stella found out about us. Been through it a thousand times. And each time, I come up with the same answer. They don't have to. No one has to. Not if we're careful. Make it sound so simple. Like there's no risk. Of course there's a risk. That's what makes it so exciting. It's like gambling. Hiya! I thought you were going to the dentist. I went. What, via the Arndale Centre? Yeah, but it's OK. I've not really spent any money. Oh, steal those, did you? No, so, <clears throat> here's the story, right. I was expecting to perhaps have a filling, maybe even two, but it turns out the dentist said that my teeth were spotless. So clean, in fact, you could eat your dinner with them. Oh, so you spent the money you saved on clothes. Marcus, teeth do not make up the man. This shirt, however, definitely <sighs> does. So why don't I put this on, bob a bit of product through my hair, and you can take me out for the night. Yeah. Bit of a problem there. I've arranged to meet a bloke from work at the Rovers. Oh, well, I'm trying to fix him up with Maria. He's perfect for her and she could do with a bit of romance in her life. <laughs> I know how she feels. <sighs> well, come with us. We could double date. No, nope. you know how the saying goes. Four's a crowd. <sighs> Wasn't always like that. I was a great dad at first. He encouraged me to work hard and make something of my life. Always had a temper, mind. As I got older, he changed. What happened? Things started going wrong for him at work. He felt other people were being promoted who didn't deserve it while he was being ignored. He used to get frustrated. And then he'd start drinking. Well, that doesn't excuse what he did. I know that. I was trying to make you understand. Well, I don't. I don't understand how someone who can love you one minute can use you as a punch bag the next. Why was I... Why was your mum when all this was going on, when he was hitting you? Most of the time stood between us, trying to stop him getting at me. I'm sorry. In a way, it was worse. Watching him take it out on her. That's all she did, she just took it. She never even tried to defend herself. And after 
hating him for so long. I started hating her, letting him treat her like that. How long did it go on for? The last time was just before my 18th birthday. I'd gone to a party and I'd come home later than I was supposed to. And I remember just opening the door and the next thing he, he punched me in the stomach, winded me. Then he grabbed me by the throat, started calling me names, saying I was cheap, a disgrace. I was so scared. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been that scared in my whole... I, um, I moved out a week later. I felt bad for leaving my mum alone with him, but what could I do? I swore then I would never let anybody hurt me like that again. Or make me feel so helpless. I thought I was being strong. But now I realise I am turning into him. And that's why I can't be with you. But as much as I hate the thought of losing you, I hate the thought of hurting you more. Oh, Kirsty, wait, please. Please, let me go. You are a bad influence on me, you know that. I'm not exactly twisting your arm, although I could if you wanted me to. Yeah, saucy. So how long till Dev gets back? It'll be hours at the cash and carry. He likes to think he's got an eye for a bargain. In that case, why don't we slip into something a bit more comfortable? Like that double bed through there. You read my mind. Afternoon. Oh, afternoon, Ken. Deirdre's keeping you busy then. Oh, not as though I'm fresh off my feet right now. Especially as these days I seem to be a grandfather in name only. Oh, look, I've tried talking to Peter, but... He... He's stubborn, I know. So, how are things with him and Simon? Not great. I think Peter's finding it pretty tough going at the minute. Not drinking again, is he? No. No, but he's going to extra meetings. Well, that's a positive thing, isn't it? It means he's determined to stay sober. Or he's struggling more than ever. Well, if there's anything I can do. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ken. He will be OK. We've been through a lot worse, right? Sorry if it's meant staying behind after school. It's all right, I didn't have much blonde anyway. So, I gather your dad's explained why I've asked to have a talk with you today. Yeah, you want me to say that I'll want to live with him and not Liam. Did he tell you to say that? Listen, Simon, it's very important you understand that I'm not on anybody's side. All I want is to have a chat with you about how things are at home and how you feel about what's been happening. I hate it at home. I want things to go back to the way they were. You mean when your dad and Leanne were together? Yeah, but I know that's not going to happen because of Carla. Your dad's new partner. And what's she like? She's horrible. She looks like a witch. <laughs> and she's a rubbish cook and all. Well, your dad must like her, though. I don't know why. I don't know why he's with her. Leanne was much nicer. And now I'm not even allowed to see her. It's not fair. Why can't I see her? I know. It must be difficult for you. I can tell you care about her very much. I know where her and my dad don't get on anymore. When they see each other, all they do is fight. But she's still my mum. And I've already lost one mum, but I don't want to lose Leanne at all. Oh, I understand. Yeah, thanks anyway. Stuff it. Stop with you? Thought I sorted it flat out for me and Jack, but it's already gone. Oh, I didn't know you was moving. I've no choice. The lease on the place with him's running out. Oh, yeah, it's a nightmare trying to find some half-decent around this place. 
Found a house round the corner the other day. Would have been ideal, two beds. Providing Jack didn't get any bigger, would have been. The size of a flaming shoebox, these landlords just take the mickey now. Well, can't you move in with my granddad and Pam? <laughs> I don't think she'll welcome me with open arms. Besides, I'm not that desperate. Mm. Thought you was at the cash and carry. Yeah. So did I. So did I. Drove all the way there and uh, guess what? You'll never guess. The place has been held up. What? Yeah. Two guys, ski masks, sawn off shotguns, the works. Right. Robbed the place. Police everywhere. Can't get in within 50 yards now. How unlucky am I? Why can't they be doing the robbing after I've done my shopping? Why? Oh, some people are just dead inconsiderate, aren't they? Who are you telling me? You finished now? Yeah. Is that flat upstairs still empty? The last time I looked here, why? Because my dad's looking for a place to live. Hey, it's a good idea, that. Yeah. It's not far from the garage. Uh, the pub, you mean. Any chance of me having a look around it sometime? Look, you look now, if you like, Kevin. I'll just go and get the keys, mate. Mm -hmm. You all right? You're not having second thoughts, are you? <laughs> no, it's just cold in here. You want to get the heating sorted out. Come in here. I'll soon warm you up. Why don't you try saying open sesame? Listen, Kev, it's definitely here, all right? What can I say? I'm a man with a lot of locks. Yeah, but no key. All right, there you go. Go on, Ooh. after you. No, after you. No, after you. Do you want to see the place or not? You're the lousy estate agent, you know Listen, that. Just get inside, man. Just get inside. Shh. What? I can hear something. Someone's coming. Who else has got keys to this place? Dev. Well, we're back in Coronation Street in half an hour.